Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and this is the cruelty free tag and this is made by Fira or Courtney. Uh, I think it's made by her so I will leave her channel and her video down in the description and also the questions and these are seven questions about cruelty free, being cruelty free so I think we just get started. So question number one. Tell us about your cruelty free journey. Where did you start? And I have been a vegetarian for almost 18 years now, I think. Um, I am not vegan. I'm a... I don't know what is the English term. I eat eggs sometimes and also drink milk and eat cheese not so often now anymore I try to be as vegan as possible but I'm not a vegan and if I buy like eggs I buy these free range eggs echo, echo eggs the, the best eggs you can buy and I um, I have been in different stage in my vegetarian journey but I haven't eat meat like cow, chicken, pig, lamb um, for like 18 years. So my cruelty free journey started before I even got into makeup. I was pretty late into makeup. I think I started to use makeup when I was like, like makeup makeup when I was maybe 22. Before that I used like mascaras and eyeliners and I think I used cruelty free brands then but I didn't think about it that I did it. Um, so and in the beginning of my makeup journey I bought some things from MAC and also from Maybelline but that was just in the early early beginning and I my hair is driving me crazy. So it's it started because I am a vegetarian and I don't want to have products that is tested on animals. And as soon as I was aware that brands test on animals, I stopped using those brands. So yeah, I hope that is an answer. <laughs> Question number two. How do you feel about cruelty free brands with parent companies that test on animals? And I use these brands. I think like Urban Decay is owned by L'Oreal and also NYX. I use Urban Decay and I use NYX because, okay, I feel like this. I think it is impossible to be all cruelty free. Almost impossible. If you want to live a normal life, I think it's very, very hard to be cruelty free. So I just see if the brands if the brand like Urban Decay, if they are cruelty free, I'm going to buy from them even though they are owned by L'Oreal. So I think it is okay as long as the brand itself doesn't test on animals. I think it's, it is okay for me to use. If you think something else, then you can think something else. But for me, if the brand it's on its own is cruelty free, it is enough for me. Question number three, what is your main source for researching cruelty free companies? I mostly use or check when I, I use Google a lot and I check them for cruelty free kitty and logical harmony. I trust those two and also leaping bunny. Other than that, no, and I, I Google a lot. Um, and also other YouTubers that I watch that I know are cruelty free. I trust them as well. And also, yeah, Google is your best friend. Um, and I don't trust if there's only one page that's saying that they are cruelty free. I need to have more than one. So Google is my best friend, but Logical Harmony and Cruelty Free Kitty is the two sites I look at the most. And also Leaping Bunny. The certification because I think that is 100% serious and good. Question number four. Many people assuming being cruelty free is expensive and that product doesn't work. 
prove them wrong. What is your favorite product that is inexpensive and cruelty free? And I, I have a lot. I'm gonna start with two concealers. One is Makeup Revolutions or Revolutions Conceal and Correct. This is vegan and cruelty free. And also Viva La Diva, it's a Swedish brand. It is cruelty free the whole brand and this product is also vegan. These are two of the best um, concealers I have ever tried. Also my, one of my favorite foundations, The Ordinary. This is like the cheapest and one of the best foundations I have ever tried. Cruelty free and I also think that this is vegan. I'm not that good at <laughs> what's vegan or not. And then also Colourpop. Lipsticks is some of the best lip products I know and Colourpop is cruelty free so it is a lot of cheap good products that are cruelty free. Question number five, name your top cruelty free brands and I only use cruelty free brands so I can just say my top brands but that is pretty hard for me but okay Linda Holberg or Linda Halberg uh, that is, I think they are completely vegan now and cruelty free and that is one of the best brands I know. Colourpop, Blush Tribe, Nabla, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, it is a lot. Everything you see on my channel is cruelty free so yeah. That's just some of my favorite brands. Question number six. Are you cruelty free in other aspects of your life? And yes, I am. I am, as I said, a vegetarian. And I also don't use leather. I don't use wool anymore. We are two people living in this household. My boyfriend is not vegetarian. He eats meat. And I can't stop him from using products from brands that are tested on animals because it's not my thing to do to stop him he can use whatever he wants but like our soap is vegan even um, all my shampoos are vegan all my skin care is not vegan, but everything is cruelty free. I think maybe all my skincare is vegan. It at least cruelty free, but I, I'm pretty sure that everything I have is vegan. So, my clothes, my skincare, my hair care, some of the products we have at home. Um, we don't have any furniture that is in leather, uh, not anything leather I think no so the most of my life is cruelty free that's maybe some like washing powder I don't think is cruelty free I'm not sure if I'm going to be honest and but I think the rest is and I also don't have any like my pillows are fibers and also my duffet my duffet to say that is also non feathers. Okay, so last question, question number seven. Who are your favorite cruelty free YouTubers and do you watch YouTubers who are not cruelty free? And two of my favorites that are cruelty free is Paulina Beauty and Beauty Bean. I will leave their channels down below. And yes, I watch a lot of people that are not cruelty free, but I'm like, I'm not taking the stand for them. I like them. I don't care if they use cruelty free products, cruel, not cruelty free products. I would wish that they would stop but it's not my choice to make. Mm, I still watch them. I still like them. I don't think anything bad of them because they are using non cruelty free products. But for an example we can take Annette's makeup corner love her, love her channel and Angelica Nyqvist as well and also Margareta Gras, she's a Swedish YouTuber and also Josefine's Smink, she's also a Swedish YouTuber, they use products that are not cruelty free. I still watch them, I still like their videos, I still like their content but it's not my thing to, it's not my choice to make. 
So yes, I watch both cruelty free YouTubers and non cruelty free YouTubers. And that was all for this tag. I think this is a super fun tag because cruelty free is something that I am pretty passionate about, even though I'm maybe not to talk about it at all on my channel. Uh, I think I have it in my description now that I are cruelty free because I. T for me, it's so strange. If I'm not eating the animals, I shouldn't use products that are tested on them. It feels a little bit strange. So I really think this is a fun tag and I would love to do more cruelty free kind of videos. I don't know what about something uh, cruelty free. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!